Hey screen printers, it's Ryan in the dark room here at Ryonet, and today I'd like to show you Ryonet's new DIY UV exposure bulb. Now this exposure bulb actually does a very good job for a very economical price of exposing a screen. Before we used to sell this very, very hot 500 watt halogen light, it's actually what I used to expose on, and the, the halogen light basically just gets really hot and just bakes your screen. It's dangerous because it's super hot, it's hard to change the bulbs, bulbs are expensive. It's not the most economically, plus it uses 500 watts of power versus something like this, which uses very minimal power and actually is UV light, very similar to our exposure unit. So it's UV ultraviolet light specified to actually do a very good job of screen exposure. So things change a little bit. You get a bulb, typically if you get a kit, you'll get a bulb. You can order the bulb separately too. It's just a bulb. So you do need a fixture to put the bulb in. So first of all, we just went down to the Lowe's or Home Depot and got a basic light fixture. You get ones that turn on and off. You can probably get, even get ones with timers on them. If you don't have a timer, you are gonna need a stopwatch or some type of you know, cell phone to time that with. Uh, you know, want a tape measure so you can measure correct distance and then of course unexposed screen. So we're gonna go through the exposure process we're gonna expose a 200 mesh screen. We do recommend using a dual cure emulsion with this. This is our WVP emulsion that comes in all of our kits. It's very user friendly. The reason why dual cure emulsions are more user friendly is they have a wider exposure latitude, meaning that they're more forgiving. So definitely go with that dual cure emulsion. It will work with the photopolymer emulsion, but it's not something that we help or recommend with because it's just not as easy for you. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get the light centered above your screen about, let's say here, I think it's 12 to 15 inches, about 15 inches or so. You want that light to be able to directly go above your screen. So right now to the side, you want to be able to directly go against uh, above your screen. So I'm going to get something to offset the light here from the wall so that it's directly above the center of my frame so that my image is properly exposed. Then we're going to want to tape down our image. Today I'm going to be using an exposure calculator to help me dial in the time. So there's two types of exposure calculators we sell at Ryanet. There's videos on our YouTube page for both of these exposure calculators. This is your basic exposure calculator and this is our advanced exposure calculator. And basically what these help you do is they help you dial in your exposure time, help you pinpoint your exact exposure. So this light, the one thing about these lights is they do basically get a little duller over time. It's kind of like a tanning bed. So you're going to have to adjust your exposure time. I would recommend starting between 9 and 10 minutes here. So you notice now we have our bulb offset. And for this particular exposure, we're going to go for medium exposure. So we do recommend going between 9 and 10 minutes on your exposure. Now this is a UV bulb, so it does lose its intensity over time. So for this exposure, we're going to go right in the medium at 9 minutes 30 seconds. We're going to use our uh, handy dandy iPhone timer to time that. And we're going to simply tape the transparency down. So we're just going to do a basic test here with the transparency and we're going to tape it down using scotch tape. Now, a couple tips here for better exposure. Positive contact is very important with exposure. And what positive contact is, is how tightly this film, this positive film is pressed against the screen. Now right now we don't really have positive contact. We basically just have this film laying down on the screen, you know, it's kind of pressed against it using that tape, but not really. So a couple ways you can accomplish that is you can get a piece of glass, get the glass specifically cut to fit the inside of the mesh. You don't want the glass to go over on the frame. If you get the glass to fit the inside of the mesh, then you're going to have proper positive contact. That glass might weigh a few pounds pressing this film and the screen mesh together. The other thing you can do is you can take a sheet of foam. This is a two inch foam, it's a dark foam that we sell and you can cut it to fit the inside of the screen. Now you can set the screen up on this foam and then put the glass on top of that so that does a little bit better job of sandwiching it. So if you can create some positive pressure there, you're going to get a little bit better exposure. Without that, you get basic exposure which is okay. For this type of block font, we're going to be okay with that. But if you really want fine detail, if you have problems washing out that detail, you need to up your positive contact. Now that we're ready to start exposing, I got my timer out. I'm going to plug in the bulb. Everything's centered, everything's taped. We're good. Remember, you can increase that positive pressure by adding that glass. And we're just going to simply plug it in and start the timer. So now we got that going. Now remember, this is all done in a light safe environment. So we do have yellow bug lights going on around here. But uh, right now, we're going to wait for 9 minutes, 30 seconds, come back and see how this guy exposes. All right, we're right at 9.30, so we're gonna unplug this, wash it out. 
TR exposure worked compared to the exposure test that we did, and then we'll go from there. Before we wash the screen out, I want to preface that we are still in a light safe environment. Now, you should be able to see your image exposed onto your screen. You can't see it on the camera because it's just lightly or faintly exposed. What we do to wash it out is we get the screen wet on both sides and then we let it soak for about a minute and a half or so and then come back and rinse it out. So we'll get it wet and then come back and rinse it out. All right, let's spray this guy out now. Okay, our screen rinsed out just fine. We are slightly underexposed. You see, this is supposed to come at a seven. It hit at a six. What that does tell us is that maybe 10 minutes, because that is a little bit older bulb, we've been using that for testing for a few months now, would be a better exposure time for this screen. But as you can tell, our image area washed out perfectly, giving us the best result that we're looking for. Even some of these final lines washed out good. So check out Ryanet's new DIY exposure bulb, the UV bulb, on our website. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks a lot for watching and expose tons of screens today.